Hi everyone and welcome to this week's long awaited reading assembly. I know I've got lots and lots of excited people wanting to find out the results of the Ready Steady Read but I'm going to leave that to last for a little bit of suspense. Okay, So we haven't touched upon Spelling Shed so far this year however I have been looking on there on a daily basis. We need more people getting on, okay? Um, your teachers will be setting you assignments over the coming weeks of your spellings of your weekly lists so you can be learning them at home and you could be practicing every single day to see how far you can get up the league tables, okay? So let's have a look at this week's league tables. So firstly, the class league tables. In third place, we have 5PA. Well done, year five. We have in second place, 3NW, but in first place, and it was so, so close, we have Mr. Armour's class, who only beat Miss Whitehead's class by 400,000 points, which sounds like a lot, but in Spelling Shed, it's not a lot. So well done, Mr. Armour's class, and well done, Miss Whitehead's class as well, because you were challenging them all the way to the very end. Well done, okay? Other classes, you need to step it up next week, please, guys. I want to see more and more people going on Spelling Shed. And I want you all to be practicing your weekly spelling so that when it comes to your spelling test, we are getting lots of 10s out of 10s. Okay. Now for the individual challenges. Again, really, really, it was a really closely fought battle. However, one person was miles and miles and miles ahead at the very end of the week. Okay, so in third place, we have got Isaac from 3MW. Well done, Isaac. Amazing effort from you this week. In second place, we have got Lucy from Mr. Armour's class, who must have been on there quite a bit as well. Well done, Lucy. Fantastic. And in the gold position, with a massive 516 million points in total, we have... Toby Greenwood. So well done Toby who is in Miss Whitehead's class. I will get your certificates to you at some point over the course of the week um, and well done everybody. Keep spelling. And now it is time to look at the three times readers for the end of last week. Um, unfortunately we only had four classes submit their results into our spreadsheet so I've only got four results to announce. In fourth position, with 41% of the class reading three times or more last week, it was Miss Wilson's class, okay? Keep reading, guys. Let's get that percentage up. I'll be looking for more like 80 90% when we get near Christmas, okay? So make sure you're reading three times or more a week. In third place, we have got 6SP. So well done to Miss Smith and Mrs Pettit's class. You had a score of 63%, okay? Still not good enough, guys. We need to get that up into the 80s and 90%, okay? Reading every single night, okay? And if not, three times a week, all right? In second place, we have got 6HR, who got 65% of the class reading three times a week or more. And they already know that I'm not happy with 65%. It needs to be higher, all right? Three times a week, we need to be reading, 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 okay? And the winning class for last week with a massive 80% readers were Miss Whitehead's class. So well done, Miss Whitehead. I will make sure that a treat comes your way by the end of today and keep reading. Well done. And now the moment we have all been waiting for. I am so excited to announce the winners of our Ready Steady Read competition. The results we have had and the sponsorship money we have had in is just incredible. I cannot even begin to tell you how excited and amazed I was when I counted out the money to see how much money we had got. Thank you so much to all the families for contributing, for reading at home and for really encouraging reading with your children. It is just amazing. So thank you so much. I will keep you updated with the books that I have managed to already order um, with the money that we've raised so far. And there will be a second order going in at the end of next week as well. So as soon as those books arrive, I will keep you updated. I will post pictures on Twitter. I will show you them in my reading assembly. I am just so excited to show you the books 
books that we've got on order and all of the books that I've ordered are going to be going in the newly organised home reading cupboard and um, they're going to be labelled up, they're going to be put in the boxes for you to take home and for you to enjoy and bring back to school to change so it's all going to benefit you so thank you very very much I'm so pleased with the results of the sponsorship. Right, without further ado, let's announce some winners. I feel like I should have a drum roll or something. However, I haven't got the drum roll, so it's just me, I'm afraid. So let's start off in nursery in FS1. So thank you very much to Alfie in FS1 for reading at home with your parents and for sending you some sponsorship money. I've got a certificate and I've got some chocolates coming your way, so well done, Alfie. Okay, and the winner in nursery um, who wins, sorry, who wins the Three Little Pigs book. It's a lovely, lovely picture book. Tells the story of the traditional tale of the Three Little Pigs. The winner is Ella Hayton in nursery. Well done, Ella. It's just amazing. So I will make sure that you get your book and your certificate passed over to you and you will get that today to take home with you. Um, in FS2, we had quite a lot of entries, so thank you to Georgia Lee, Georgia Chandler, Jason Dickinson and Eddie Smith, who all took part in the sponsorship, so thank you very much for your contributions. You will have a certificate and some chocolates coming your way today, but the winner of the Dinosaur Who Lost His Raw book in FS2 is... William Hunter. Well done, William. Fantastic. This book will be on its way to you by the end of today. Thank you so much. Well done. Let's now go to year one. Okay, so quite a few entries from year one. A massive well done to Harry Smith, Daisy Naylor and Grace Court for participating in the Ready Steady Read. I have got certificates and chocolate coming your way. Fantastic. But the person who read the most in year one was Veronica and she has won on a pirate ship. Lovely, lovely pictures, tells us a tale about the pirates on the seven seas. So, well done. I will make sure that this book gets to you by the end of today. Fantastic. Let's finish in key stage one now with year two now we had a phenomenal amount of entries from year two and i would like to thank austin jesse blackburn eliza o'neill and Layla dixon for participating in the ready steady read thank you so much i will make sure you get your certificates and your chocolates today thank you but the winner in year two who wins the book Billy and the Mini Monsters, Monsters Go to School, fantastic book, absolutely love these books. They're about little monsters that go in and out of cupboards and play practical jokes on people, it's just amazing. The winner of this book is Mia Huddleston, well done Mia, you read the most out of everybody in year two so that is absolutely fantastic well done and thank you right let's move on now to the winners in key stage two so i've got to say massive well done to years three and four by far the most entries in the school came from year three and four just amazing mr taylor will be over the moon that so many children in years three and four are reading so much at home and contributing so thank you very much team three and team four that's absolutely brilliant so year three first okay we had entries um from jackson chandler lexi sunter evie blackburn usman sarah khan toby greenwood isaac cooper and scarlett harrison so well done and thank you to all those people who participated in the ready study read i have got certificates and chocolates that will come to you by the end of today and the year three winner who read the most in the whole of the year group was Dylan Abbott. Well done, Dylan. Absolutely brilliant news. You have won a copy of Teacup House, The Twitches Bake a Cake. Okay, some lovely, lovely pictures in this book. Absolutely marvellous. 
There we go. Lots and lots of lovely pictures for you to be looking at. Excellent bedtime story to read on a night time. So well done, Dylan. That is just amazing. And thank you so much for participating. Year four. Absolutely loads of entries from year four. So well done, team four. Absolutely marvellous to see. And well done and thank you to Reading at Home to Jack Dixon, Louis Swaby, Victoria, Theo Hayton, Ons, Lucas Tomlinson, James Hogarth, Alicia Chowdhury, Daniel O'Neill, Evan Wielden and Maisie Wilkins. Well done and thank you to you all. Absolutely brilliant to see you reading so much at home. Really, really hotly fought competition in year four. You read for hours and hours on end. So well done. It's really pleasing to see. Keep it up, please. Now, the winner in year four wins the book Number Puzzles. And inside Number Puzzles, there's loads and loads of fun activities to do with numbers for you to be doing. We've got mazes for you to get out of using coordinates. We've got counting activities. We have got um, swirling in space. We've got codes to crack, we've got some problem solving to do, and my absolute favourite, number colouring, okay? Hidden pictures, hidden shapes in the pictures. In fact, you know what? I might not hand this out, I might just keep it for myself. Absolutely amazing book. But, I'm not like that, you know I'm not. The winner is Ava Carson. So, well done, Ava. This book will be on its way to you by the end of today. Fantastic. Keep reading. Now on to Upper Key Stage 2, okay, and Year 5. In Year 5, thank you and well done, we had entries from Zara, Isaac Falconer, Leighton Cooper, Lucy Affer, Joshua Lester, Talia Exley, Hubert and Kyle Wade. So well done and thank you to you all for reading so much at home. Absolutely marvellous to see, so thank you. But the winner in year five wins the Usborne Official Astronauts Handbook. And inside here, there's lots and lots of tips about travelling to space, basic training that you can undertake in space, um, underwater DIY that you can take with you, survival kits, how your rocket works. It is just incredible. And I... I know that you teach space in year five as well, so I bet Mr. Arm is trying to steal this off you, so I would just keep an eye on it if I were you. The winner in year five is Shiraz. Well done, Shiraz. You read the most out of everybody in year five. Absolutely marvellous to see, and your astronaut's handbook will be on its way to you. So thank you very much, Shiraz. That's absolutely brilliant. Now, the last year group in the school, last but definitely not the least, is year six okay now we had lots and lots of entries from year six as well so i would like to say a big well done and thank you to amna hussein jordan bingham mercy samuels abigail robinson david and fern wilkinson so well done to all of you guys thank you so much for entering and contributing to the sponsorship absolutely brilliant uh, but the winner in year six wins the book Cog Heart. Okay. Now this book is a mystery book and it is about some mechanics and they end up in a murky and miserable menacing world. Okay. So excellent read. Well worth the time and effort to read through this because it is very, very long when you get to year six, guys. Look at all those pages. The winner of Cogheart is Joshua Binley. Well done, Josh. So Josh read the most out of everybody in year six and he won himself the prize of Cogheart. Cog, Cog, Cog you will have to let me know how you get on when you read it, Josh. Absolutely marvellous. I'll hand it across to you now. <laughs> right. Now, before we finish this week's assembly, there were two people in our school community that I thought deserved an absolutely massive well done and thank you. Okay? Now, these two people raised the most money out of everybody in the school. And it wasn't 
just a little bit more money. It was a huge, huge amount of money. I nearly fell off my chair when I saw the amount of money that these two children had raised. It was just amazing. So thank you so much. I thought that you deserved a very, very special prize. So I have got you a Ready Steady Read fundraising champion certificate that will be coming your way and I have also been in touch with your class teachers and asked your class teachers what you like, what you like to read about, what you are interested in and I have ordered you both a very very special prize from the Usborne catalogue which is here. So I looked through the catalogue at all these different titles and I have chosen you both a book each. Now, I've ordered the book and it has not actually arrived yet. But when it does arrive, I will announce it in the reading assembly and then I will send it down to you. But for this week, you can have your certificates and my promise that I have ordered you a book and it is coming your way. Okay? So, I would firstly like to say a massive, massive thank you to Archie Ashcroft in Year 3. Thank you so much for supporting our school and for sending such a massive donation in to help towards books. We really, really appreciate it. So, well done and thank you, Archie. And I hope you like your very special prize when it comes your way next week, hopefully. I would also like to say a massive thank you to Jensen Foster, who is also in Year 3 for the absolutely astronomical amount of money that he sent in for his sponsorship just incredible we were over the moon with it in fact i even did a little dance around my office when i saw the the contributions from these two families just amazing thank you very much your special prize has also been ordered and it will be on its way to you next week Thank you so much, everybody, for contributing and for participating. I hope you enjoyed reading your books. Lots and lots of parents have given me feedback about how amazing it was to sit with their children on a night time and read books with them and have them read books to you. So please don't let it stop just because we're not doing the sponsorship. Let's keep it going for the remainder of the year, okay? Well done, everybody, and thank you so much for contributing. Also, don't think I've forgotten about the year one reading vote. I do have the year one reading vote and I do have the assembly recorded and ready to go. So next week, I will announce the results of the year one reading pathway book assembly and I will launch the year two reading vote as well. OK, so remember, guys, before I talk to you again next week, make sure you are reading three times a week or more. Make sure you read tonight because tomorrow we will be counting how many times you've read and finding our class percentage. Make sure you are going on spelling shed as well your teachers will be setting you assignments of your weekly spellings so it just takes five minutes on a night time get the spelling shed app open and practice your weekly spellings okay well done everybody thank you so much for the ready steady read participants i will make sure you get your prizes by the end of today thank you everybody